Hello and welcome to my tutorial on vector geometry. So in this tutorial we'll be looking or we'll be deriving a theorem for the centroid of our triangle ABC uh, is equal to one third of vector A plus vector B plus vector C. Here vector A is position vector for OA and B is position vector for OB and C is position vector for OC. So before uh, trying to prove that the centroid of triangle ABC is equal to one third of vector A plus vector B plus vector C, at first let us draw a triangle. So here is our triangle and I'll name it ABC. You can name it anything you like. Since we are trying to derive the formula for centroid of triangle ABC, I'm writing that name A, B, and C for this triangle. Now I'll take a point O, which is the origin, and for the position vector of OA, I'm going to join point O and point A. For OB, I'll be joining point O and point B, and for C, I'll be joining point O and point C. Here for OA, um, I'll write vector A for OB, here is vector B, and here is vector C. Now, if I draw a median from vertex, vertex C up to vertex D, then the median, so divide the triangle, the base of the triangle in two halves, so the length AD should equal to length DB. Now a point G, which is our centroid, I'll name it G, the point here is C, C, E, and centroid. So this is the centroid and it divides the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. This is the property for centroid, which you should know before trying to solve this question. Now I'll be joining point O and point D as well and also point O and point C so the diagram has drawn out to be quite complicated but actually it is not here at first uh, what we should do is let us first take triangle AOB now if you look at triangle AOB we can see here that here is point O, here is point A, here is point B, and here is point D. And since the point D divides AB in equal ratio, so we can just apply the formula, we can just apply the midpoint formula here. So what we know from our midpoint formula is that this vector OD should equal to this vector OB plus this vector OA divided by 2. So this is from our midpoint formula, which was our first theorem. Now, once again, when we look at triangle, this time we'll be looking at triangle OCD. So if I draw the diagram for triangle OCD, D and we have here point G and this point G divides the line segment CD in the ratio 2 is to 1. Here is vector C. Now here we have to apply the formula uh, of that is section formula for internal division. Since uh, the line CD has been internally divided by point G in the ratio 2 is to 1. So when we apply the section formula for internal division, we have here vector OG is equal to twice vector OD, twice vector OD plus 1 times vector OC, 1 times vector OC divided by 2 plus 1. This is our section formula for internal division. This was our second theorem in this video series. So here we have twice vector OD 
plus 1 times factor OC is factor OC divided by 3. So let this be our second equation. So here are our two equations that we derived uh, in our previous slide. So at first I'll be taking equation 2. So OG is twice for vector OD. I have here OB plus OA divided by 2 plus here I have vector OC divided by and then I have here 3. Now we can simply get rid of 2 on the numerator and 2 on the denominator. So I have vector OB plus vector OA plus vector OC divided by 3. Since we've assumed that the position vector OB is simply equal to B, OA is equal to A, OC is equal to C divided by 3. And on rearranging, we can write here vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by 3, which is our centroid OG. So this is what we have to derive for the position vector of centroid, which is point G. So the position vector of centroid is equal to vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by 3. So we have proved this question. I hope it is clear to you and thanks for watching.